Man, I really wish I had the best trail camera in the world. Oh wait, I do. It's an Exodus trail camera, guys. Do you want one? We're gonna give one away. Simple as this, like our videos, subscribe to our channel, and comment for extra entries. If you're a subscriber, long-term subscriber, you know the drill, you know how this works. If you're new, that's how you do it. Simple as that, we're gonna give one of these bad boys away. If you wanna win, like, comment, and subscribe. Free camera, why not? Greetings, everybody, from the blind. We're dealing with a windy day here, so we figured we'll get a little work done and uh, get you some videos. So, today's topic, man, it's a big one. I mean, we we, we spend all year putting these food sources in. Um, maybe you put beans in, maybe you put corn in, maybe you put radishes in, maybe you put turnips in, maybe you hunt over alfalfa. We do all this work, but you don't really know when the right time is to hunt each of these food sources. And I'm here to tell you that there absolutely is a right and wrong time to hunt, hunt uh, grain over green. Okay, we've heard this, this concept talked about before, maybe on some bigger hunting channels, things like that. We're going to take a little bit of a deeper dive into why you should be hunting, where you should be hunting, and when you should be hunting there. Before we get into it, you know the drill. It's booking season. Um, we're damn near booked up at this point, and honestly, by the time you see this, we might be, but reach out anyway. Um, if you're looking to learn more about your property, how you can make money on your property, how to pull more bucks off of your neighbor's property, things like that, um, and you just want to want to learn more about deer habitat, go ahead, head over to whitetaillandmanagementservices.com, send us a message, um, and we'll get something booked for you, hopefully. Hopefully we still got spots. Um, number two, if you love Vortex swag, like the cool stuff that I'm wearing, um, head over to vortexoptics.com, use code WLM20. Um, that'll get you 20% off of all their apparel. Christmas is coming. Um, they got some cool stuff. Head over there and buy that stuff if you want a good deal. And then uh, eurooptic.com, head over there. WLMS VTX10, gets you 10% off optics. Let's get into it. Green versus grain. Like I said, we spent a lot of time planting these food plots. You put so much money and so much time into and effort into putting these food plots in, but nobody ever thinks about when you should be hunting which. Maybe you only put in a green plot where you really limited yourself at that point, okay? Um, hopefully, you have a diversity, uh, a diverse amount of, um, or maybe not an amount, but a diverse um, catalog of food plots across your property. You know, you don't just have clover everywhere. You don't just have green uh, food sources everywhere. You don't just have beans everywhere. You don't have corn everywhere. You need to have diversity. First step of food plotting is diversity is key. Okay, you want to give them a buffet and, and is, is a good way to put, to put it. Um, you want to give them all the options so that they don't have to leave. If you have palatable, palatable food throughout the entire season um, and you have correlating bedding, you should have the deer all the way through the season. So um, with that being said, there are certain times in which you should be hunting certain food plots. So let's get into the grain because that's really a big one this time of year. Hunting grain, um, your, your beans and your, your corn, it's, it's that time of year. It's, it's that time of year right now, late in the season, when a lot of people love to do it. Um, the times in which I love to really hunt over grain is when those cold snaps come. Like when you get the northwest wind, you know, look for these correlations. When you get the northwest wind, and sometimes you'll get the, the high pressure fronts along with that. And although that's not super important to me in a lot of aspects, it is when it comes to hunting over food sources. These are things I look at. So um, I'll be hunting over grain a lot of times on, on the northerly winds. And the cold fronts come in and the reason that i hunt over those grain uh, food sources instead of the green food sources is because they're way more palatable they're easier to literally physically eat in those scenarios and if you think about this let's think about your green food sources for a second here your radishes your turnips anything like that there is there's moisture content within those um those plants okay and even if it's just the greens maybe not even the bulbs there's still moisture content okay and it's a little bit harder for those deer to eat and digest when it's frozen Okay. Another thing about these uh, these green plots is they're hard for deer to dig up, especially when everything is once again frozen. So the grain, the nice thing about grain is grain will stay above your snow if you end up getting snow in your part of the woods, or part of the woods in your part of the country, um, your neck of the woods. Um, so green, or, and when I say grain, I'm really talking about your, your corn and beans. So um, you know whether you get a bunch of snow, whatever the case is, I just like to really hunt over grain on those northerly winds when you get a cold snap because it's a easier food source for those deer to eat um, just physically okay and i think that's a lot of times why when we talk about you know when should you be hunting which i think that's why we see deer a lot more um, on those really frigid cold days hitting the grain and it also might be a, a, a nutrition thing too uh, maybe the deer are understanding a bit more what they need 
given the, the scenario that they're currently in and during that portion of the season from a biological standpoint and really health standpoint, you know, what, if they need more carbohydrates, if they need more protein, whatever the case might be. I mean, maybe, we'll, maybe, maybe I'm giving them too much credit, but I feel like they've survived millions of years for a reason. So um, they, they know these things, but for the most part, when, I, when it comes to hunting green versus grain, I'm really just focusing on what the conditions are um, because there are conditions in which you should be hunting each of them. So um, if you've seen, a really big cold snap coming really focus on grain okay really focus on your your corn your mowed corn if you can do that where you're from your beans um things like that and if you're looking at the warmer days in the forecast the southerly winds the days like today that we're dealing with we're sitting over alfalfa which is a form of green to me um and uh, those are the days you really got to be sitting over the green everyone when it's not frozen solid and they can actually come in here and, and feed on those food sources so if you guys like these tips you like these uh you like these videos make sure you head over to uh well you're already here uh head over to our youtube channel otherwise hit um hit subscribe hit like and comment for extra ent entries on our giveaways we're always giving stuff away if you want free stuff that's how you win it guys see you next time